Yes, boss. 444 the world back in here again once again dog. Happy to be here, happy to see you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You see the topic and what it is that we're talking about, right? Betrayal only comes from familiar faces, right? If you don't believe me, ask somebody, man. Or if not, I'm pretty sure you've been betrayed by somebody you're very much familiar with, right? You have to understand something, right? The only people who can really and truly and rightfully betray you are people who know you well enough to know how you move, what you got going on, what you got cooking, you get what I'm saying? It's like, you gotta understand this. People in life have all types of things that drive them. Some people let money drive them. Some people let negativity drive them. Some people let positivity drive them. Some people let, like, seeing other people like, it's a form of negativity, but it's on a malicious way. Some people just love when people go through hell. You get what I'm saying? Because they've been through it. I feel like stuff's sweet for you. Why is it sweet for you? You need to go through some hell. There are some people who really live like that, right? And it's known as being grimy, right? Or being a snake, however you want to call it. But you always have to remember this. The only people who can really cross you are people that are close to you. Give you some examples. Everybody knows this one. Jesus, who crossed that boy? Judas, Judas crossed that boy like Allen Iverson crossed like, you get what I'm saying? Like, who, oh yeah, that's Jesus? I don't know him. No, no, Jesus who? What? Jesus, no. I don't know that boy. Yeah? All right, cool. You have people that will do grimy stuff to you and they know you. Who's another one? Cain and Abel, right? Cain killed his own brother out of jealousy. Yeah? You get more praise than me? They like you. They like everything you got. They like your work? Nah. I don't like that. Kill that boy. There's people who are like that. Some people let jealousy get a hold of them to the point where they cannot control it. So they reach and they do some ill-advised things some malicious things bro you feel me another example in my family right my mother is jealous of me but i know who else is really jealous of me my sister catherine my sister i'm not gonna i'm not stupid bro like catherine had like hella potential but she squandered it doing dumb shit two weeks before you graduate being an rn you was like, nah, this dude over here popping, he, he about to give me the world, all of that, right? All of that, he loved me, yeah. I don't need to be a RN, he gonna take care of me. Big scammer, money, money. Money, right? Guess what, finesse, got the pum pum, gone. Guess what, he got everything he wanted, whatever, gone, right? You and your RN graduation, ah! That two weeks turned into never. You're not getting your graduation. Mm -mm. You didn't even come back. What's where, where, have you, where have you been? Where did you go? Where did you go? You decided to leave for a boy, right? You don't have no, fo no focus, right? And the thing about it, why I had to bring up my sister because she thinks I'm stupid and I don't know nothing about this. My sister likes to do a lot of evil, malicious things and act like she's so innocent, but I'm not stupid. A lot of things have happened under my name, right? Like, oh, this person tried to open up a, 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 um, a um, what they call that shit again? A snap in your name. I'm like, how this person got my information? Why is my information everywhere? I'm not stupid, bro. And I'm saying this on camera because I know there's certain people watching me like, the feds, oh, private investigation because they know what my mother did and I paid for that. Mm -hmm. Guess what, right? We're gonna talk about Catherine now. My sister likes to memorize people's socials, all of that shit, right? And you like to rock with a lot of scammers. So guess what? This is why I tell a lot of people, be careful of who you mess with and be careful of hoes, you feel me? Hoes cause a lot of instabilities. 
in the economy, in the economy, especially her, right? Because you got a love for money. Oh yeah, you a scammer? Mm. I could give you the foes right now. I could give it to you. I got one right now, my little brother. Yeah, yeah, my little brother. Yeah, right? And you give my shit. I don't give a fuck whoever get rope. Really, you're stupid. You feel me? Because if you're that thirsty for money or pussy that you will take information from a hoe on her little brother, literally, I'll, I don't really care about whatever happens to you. That's why I said there's a lot of people I want to watch my videos so they understand the games that they play. Because like I said in previous videos, I paid for a lot of people's karma and I'm tired of it. And it's like a lot of people run around with my name in their mouth. So it's like, I just feel like there's something I got to do to get my balance back. I work hard, right? I work hard, right? Why not do something with the check to help bring back the balance in my life and fuck up a lot of people whose evil's lives? Ah. Ah. <laughs> Listen, man. Check me out, right? So, my sister would do stuff like this. And that's why I was like, yo, I started seeing something. There's some stuff that females do for money that's ill-advised and some stuff that niggas do for the pump pum and for the money and it's like, yo, that's really ill-advised. So, yeah, I really could care less. You feel me? Betrayal comes from familiar faces, right? So, get off of my sister now, right? I started seeing something. People have this... this 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 monkey on their back that's the best way to say it i'm pretty sure people have heard that terminology before it's like they got a monkey on their back like what are you what are you feeding for that cigarette ah it's like you got a monkey on your back what you need some money ah it's like you got that monkey on your back right some people have this monkey on their back where it's like i just gotta do something shiesty dog and i don't like you there are people who will see you in a good standing in whatever form of a way and set you up just to get their that monkey off of their back best way to say it and it's like now that monkey is off of my back i could fluff the hell out my pillow and guess what i'm counting sheep tonight yeah yeah oh yeah i'm counting sheep that was like three or four yeah jumped over the moon yeah because they got a they got the ability to just go ahead and snake you just shice you like <laughs> i poked a hole in all of his balloons i feel good like i don't really care and then there's people who like yeah you played them good job oh my god good job uh, uh, right and you don't even realize when you do these type of things you're just building the hell out of your karma tab like yep god looking at that like yep i seen all of that what you did right there i seen all of that what you did Bro, there have been some things I've seen that I still don't see on camera. They're, pay attention to the words that I use. Yo, I've seen some stuff. Yeah, I've seen some stuff. I just don't say Nathan, dog. Like, yo, I'm being real mild, real, real picante with the surface. I'm just, mm, just scratching it a little bit. If I tell you certain things, you'll be like, yo, you're lying, bro. If I told you about my mother, yo. I think he's lying and then the life insurance papers came and I showed it on camera I don't remember the video but if you watch my videos you'll know which one I'm talking about that is real it's real you get what I'm saying poverty caused people to do things in a malicious way just like when it comes to jealousy and envy people will envy you for some dumb reasons bro dumb reasons I'm gonna give you a crispy crispy ass example dog because i live in florida and i've seen this before and this has happened to me a couple times right i had somebody who envied me a dude i'm not gonna say his name you get what i'm saying not no reason to go into that oh what, what you what you put in your hair to get it like that i don't put nothing in my hair oh so, so what you mix with something yeah i'm mixed with indian i'm a jamaican i'm a coolie you get what i'm saying People get instant envy like, oh, 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 right? And it's like, yo, why are you mad, bro? If anything, you want to know who you should take the blame, who you should take the blame and shoot it at? 
Shoot it at your mom, bro. Who did your mom choose to lay down with? You get what I'm saying? My mom laid with a wavy ass. You know what I'm saying? My daddy was wavy, dog. You know what I'm saying? Oh, crispy hair. You know wavy. You feel me? Not boasting, but it's like, dog, think about it, right? It's all on choices in life. That's all my videos is here to show you. Everything is a choice. You feel me? You choose what you want to choose in life. Do you choose success? What are you going to do to go ahead and fulfill that success? Are you choosing negativity? What are you doing to amplify that negativity, huh? There's different things you can do to get the results in life. But I'd recommend choosing positivity, choosing God, doing things the right way. You know what I'm saying? Because betrayal does come from familiar faces. And it's a reason why people say, yo, the people who will hurt you the most is family, right? And friends, right? Because guess what? Family and friends know you the most. Betrayal comes from familiar faces. People who will betray you or snake you, they had it waiting like draw for an uno like, oh my God, if I get an opportunity to just do it, I'm gonna lay down the draw for it. Ooh, that monkey gonna get off my back. Because people have had jealousy and envy in them since they were a kid, they seen it and it never got checked. You know when, you ever heard somebody say, yo, check it at the front door? That's something that should have been checked at the front door for a lot of people and it went unchecked jealousy or envy some people never had it beat it out of them or yo that's jealousy stop it you get what i'm saying some people they're like oh yeah you got jealousy okay what you gonna do about that and they let it ride they amplify it not knowing that you're causing somebody's downfall some people let jealousy and envy get them so like get them so riled up to the point where they go and execute and they ended up either losing their life losing their freedom doing something that's gonna set them back in a, in a in a crazy way but it's because jealousy and envy was in their heart you feel me when people betray you they do it for but a lot of reasons but it's the main reason they feel like it's justified i never said that that it's justified yeah I got a monkey on my back. Yeah, I'm jealous. God damn it, I'm envious. I gotta get this shit off my back. I gotta snake him. Why? That's where, if you had a father in your life or the right father, you get what I'm saying? You would've learned that shit. That's not something that you do. You ending up wanting to hurt somebody or yo, and you do something malicious to this person, it's gonna backfire on you in a wicked way, bro. When I say in a wicked way, I mean in a wicked way. Don't mind me for checking my time. I'm trying to get these videos like a little bit more lengthier. You get what I'm saying? But you got to understand this. When people betray you, they know what they're doing. They're not stupid. They just believe with the knowledge that they have <coughs> versus you being you and you thinking, yo, this is my mom. My mom wouldn't do this to me. Wrong. If you listen to my any of my videos and I talk about my mom, bro, listen closely. That should go go sh that should go to show you how far the mind goes and how far evil will go. My mom ran a game on me, her child. I came out you, bro. Why would you do that to me? You feel me? That's when I had to understand my mom was jealous of me. My mom don't like me. My mom didn't like my daddy. My mom just had an evil plan. Pent up, my mom was rubbing her hands like Birdman in the cut, like, yeah, finesse, life insurance, yeah, big house, more life insurance, yeah, slave, life insurance when I'm done with that nigga, yeah, 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 no, 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 I'm putting an end to that shit, you feel me? Like, here's the deal, when you run an evil game or you do something malicious, you don't know when that time gonna come when you gotta stop. It's either you stop on your own or something gonna happen to make you stop. I'm gonna show you how life's so funny, right? My mom used to tell me little things when I was a kid like, I have a feeling when you get older, you're not gonna wanna be around me. My mom used to tell me shit like this. Why would you tell me this? Because you know you're doing something for me to not wanna be around you. You get what I'm saying? Go deeper. Oh, I feel like you're gonna forget about me. I feel like, I feel like, 
I, I, it's, 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 I feel like my mom would tell me a bunch of shit, dog. I just don't want to say it. You get what I'm saying? But I pick up on certain things that added up like, yo, what the hell is this lady talking about? You feel me? What do you mean by this? You feel me? And it was like a forward premonition in a, in a form of a way. You feel me? When you play a dirty hand and you know it's a dirty hand, I'm here to tell you this right now. If you don't believe me, you already ran the game of forfeit. Quit while you're ahead. You feel me? When people betray somebody, it's because they want to, they have to, they need to. It's something they become accustomed to. You get what I'm saying? Pay attention to these movies, right? <clears throat> Look at, all right. Look at Paid in Full, and I'm going to do a breakdown on that, right? Look at A Boogie, look at Money Mitch, and look at Rico, right? <coughs> A Boogie was humble, working, doing dry cleaning. Everybody knew him. You get what I'm saying? Cool with everybody. Had manners and all of that, right? Who was his best friend? Money Mitch, right? His friend touching money. He'll put him on if he say the word because he know he a clean faced dude. You get what I'm saying? But guess what? He didn't want to do that. He, he doing his own thing, right? Look at what happened in the story, right? How much times did AC Mitch with money? Plenty of times. Oh, this that new Beamer? This that new Volvo thing? Yeah, I'm not going to snake you. You my boy. I love you genuinely. You get what I'm saying? That's how I am with a lot of people, dog. But here's the thing. People love you when you're in that state and you never grow from that. Because if you grow from that and you go to a bigger scale with it, they going to shit bricks because they never intended to keep you. They never wanted you to go up the scale. You get what I'm saying? You just got to use your head and put two and two together to make stuff hit. You feel me? Here's the deal. What happened Why Money Mitch got killed? Rico killed him. Where did he meet Rico? In prison. But here's the deal. Rico was one of them people where it's like, dog, I'm hungry. I'll do anything for you, baby. He was a wolf. You feel me? That's law. If you don't feed the wolves, guess what? They're going to put you on the menu, dog. Because you the one that got everything. You the one we know that got everything. God damn you going on the menu. That's how he got killed. These movies give you the answer, bro. When you're around somebody, oh, this my day one, this my dog, they would do this to me. They would do it to you. They will do it to you. If people see that you got the potential to fly past them, do way more than them in life, they're gonna snake you. If they can stop, stop you from breathing, they will do it, bro. How many people I told you in my videos try to kill me, bro? My mother. My artist, he tried to sacrifice me for a record deal, dog. God was not going to let no shit like that happen like that, especially you being a fuck nigga. You get what I'm saying? And he got a higher purpose for me. Fuck out of here. You get what I'm saying? Do away with your little dirty ass. You're not going to fulfill that shit. And he told me some shit. He went to uh, uh, some type of lady and she was like, yeah, you were meant to be, you're, you were going to do this, that, and the third, but it's blocked. Because in a forward presence, you had me on your mind to sacrifice me. That's why I was ill-advised. If you watching me, you get what I'm saying? And you're going to pay for that if you're not paying for it. There's a special section in hell for fuck niggas like you. You get what I'm saying? Betrayal comes from familiar faces. When people see that you can do better, or outshine them, whatever, they're going to do whatever it is to dim your light. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You got to be the one to be like, get your hand out the goddamn way. Let me shine. You feel me? That's how life go. People will do whatever to stop you, bro. Whatever to stop you. You just got to pay attention. You feel me? If you don't pay attention, they're going to out your light. I'm going to say that again. If you don't pay attention, they're going to out your light, bro. You feel me? This is real life, bro. Life is not checkers. It's chess to the highest level. If you don't know how to play chess, you need to go ahead and buy a game, dog, and learn it. It's chess. It's not checkers. It's a famous saying. Learn that.
Betrayal comes from familiar faces. There's a lot of people I had around me that I thought were my friends. They did not like me. Did not like me. That's why it's like if anybody understands me a little bit more on my philosophy when I say certain things where I'm gunning for my mom in a way and I'm gunning for certain people, it's, the, it's because my mom set the tone, bro. You get know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be doing shit like that. You thinking having sex and, oh, let me child support her. She ain't do that to my dad, but it's like certain people play this game. Oh, let me child support you. Let me do this. Let me do that. Just to get ahead, you're going to pay for it. There are people who avoid hard work at the highest of a level and they'll do whatever to betray somebody if money's involved. Oh, yeah. Some people, a lot of people are down for that. Because if you work hard and you know what hard work, blood, sweat, and tears is, you're not going to do some shit like that. You get what I'm saying? It takes over time for the smoke and mirrors to fade for people to see what real is. You get what I'm saying? How long I've been on YouTube? I've been on YouTube for about a year now, bro. Never once have I told anybody, yo, cash at me some shit. I'm not on that, bro. I'm real thorough about mine. Best horse in the stable, goddammit. You get what I'm saying? Best horse in the stable. I ain't asking nobody for a dollar. I'm not, donate to me. This, that, and the third. I really want to help people, dog. That's why I ask you, share my stuff. Like, it's going to help somebody get it. But you need to understand this. People who will betray you, know you like that. Know you. So you got to play chess with them. You get what I'm saying? Play chess with people. I know when somebody trying to snake me. I just play stupid. And I just really see how far you trying to go with that game. You get what I'm saying? Play chess with people, dog. Don't let nobody play you. That being said, understand this, yo. Words can help you. They can hurt you. But here on my channel, I use them to uplift you because everybody is a champion. Nobody is a loser, bro. Nobody is a loser. The minute you try to do some lame stuff to hurt somebody or get somebody up out of here, that's when somebody could say, yo, I think you're a loser now. You get what I'm saying? Stop doing that. Use your own two hands, your two arms, your legs, whatever, yo, your head. Nah, use your head, bro. God gave you everything. Society, the elites, the people that run the game have made everything a reverse psychological kind of way so you don't use your head. You just try to use evil tactics and finesse when you don't have to use it. Read a book, dog. Do things the right way. You'll get much farther that way. It's 444 The World, man. I love you guys. Peace.